Welcome to a quick overview of the Hasura Data Delivery Network. In this, the first of several exciting beta announcements over the coming weeks, we'd like to introduce some new features in our completely revamped developer experience. Hasura DDN brings super graphs to your organization. A super graph is an architecture to connect together multiple sources of data or subgraphs and graph lingo as a single composed powerful collection of data entities and operations. This helps us to get the benefits of both a monolith and a microservices approach. Monoliths with their tight cohesion and easy governance, and microservices with their flexibility, resilience, distributed nature, and fast time to market. Let's jump straight into the brand new Hasura console, where we have a Supergraph API running. In this simple example, you can see that we're connecting to multiple distributed Postgres databases. And in our instantly generated API and graphical, we can run a simple query as well as whatever deeply nested and arbitrarily complex queries we like. These can traverse our data connections and lead the optimal planning and execution of the query completely up to Hasura itself. So just from enabling the connections between data sources in our Hasura super graph, we get unlimited flexibility for our queries out of the box. No more writing resolvers, data loaders, batchers, or wrangling disparate APIs. With DDN, the data integration and deployment work of the product development process will simply disappear. We can click the View Trace button for our simple query and see rich observability information on how our query was run by Hasura. We can see basic data, such as the trace's ID, response time, and the number of models the query accessed. We can see the visual explanation of the query and, if we click on any particular part, see how that was executed on the Postgres database itself. We can also see which data center region in the Hasura data delivery network handled which portion of the query and how long each part took to execute. We can do the same for our complex query and see the same information showing how Hasura DDN has managed to optimize and route this for best performance. And if there are any bottlenecks in our underlying data layer, they'll be revealed easily. We can also run predefined native queries, which allows us to use the native language of the underlying database however we like. We can run, for example, custom SQL queries or mutations in Postgres, or run queries in vector databases however we choose, all directly from our GraphQL API. We can even query our supergraph using a global ID identifier, which allows us to fetch any object in our entire supergraph directly, regardless of its kind. This unlocks exciting caching and data refetching features for GraphQL clients that make your applications more performant and will delight your end users. So let's take a look at how we generated our super graph. Hasura DDN is a 100% metadata first approach with everything related to our graph defined with a simple YAML-like syntax. With our brand new Hasura CLI, we can init a new project, connect to our Postgres data sources, and scaffold out our first fully functioning globally available Supergraph API on the Hasura Edge network in less than a minute. The CLI sets up our metadata files and directories in a default, logical, well-organized way. However, you can organize them however you like. The CLI offers dev mode, which watches our metadata files for any changes we may make, instantly creates a new version of our API for us, and sends it to the Hasura data delivery network. Now we can jump into VS Code, to which we've added our new language server plugin to help us validate and edit our metadata. Metadata is organized into subgraphs so that each portion of our graph is a semantically separated part, allowing us to enable top-notch collaboration and governance features. Now that we've made a change, our new API builds almost instantly. Builds in Hasura DDN are unique and immutable API versions which are created in a custom environment such as staging or production, and which are each fully accessible via a unique endpoint at any time. Once we're happy with a build, we can apply it with zero downtime to our API for it to become the official deployed API for that environment. And if there are any issues, you can instantly roll back to a previous version. There you have it, a fully functional super graph in Hasura DDN. We have so much more lined up in the future announcements over the next few weeks, so stay tuned to our community channels. But for now, check out the quick start and docs and try Hasura DDN for yourself. Mm -hmm.